All right. Well, uh, I'm going to record this because I know uh, for a fact that Amy is not going to be able to be here. And I've been trying to record this each week, but a couple of times it was in person, so it made it difficult to uh, record it. So I recorded this time and I'll put it out there in the um, group chat as well as on the email so everybody can go back and look at it uh, as they have time. Um, so thanks, everybody, for coming, first and foremost, and those who are able to join. Mr. Carringer, appreciate you being able to show up. I wasn't sure if Mr. Ward was going to be here tonight or not, but I uh, wasn't sure. I did send an email letting them know that it was going on, just in case. Um, first thing we'll do is uh, have Robin go over our minutes from the last meeting, and then we'll uh, go over a few things. We won't, we won't be long. We just try to uh, pass on some information. Uh, related to uh, the jogging suits, battle of the bands, and uh, fundraiser, things of that nature. So, uh, Robin, if you can go over that for us, we'd be ready to go. All right. Um, we started at 6.06 um, last month, um, and we discussed, um, I guess, you want me to go through everything we discussed? Does, or just abbreviate. <laughs> you can abbreviate it. You don't have to go through every single thing. Just abbreviate the, the, the bigger thing. Um, the big things we talked about were the uh, fundraisers, um, the three on three, um, as well as uh, maybe any other raffles or anything of that nature of doing for a fundraiser. Uh, we talked about a parade in Orlando, um, but we had to get back with Mr. K to see about if we were able to do that. Um, we said as of right now, there'll be no competitions this uh, year. Um, the, he has not decided on the show for next year. New music for stand tunes are being implemented. Um, we were set about doing an incentive and recruitment for band students for themselves, like take maybe twenty five fifty dollars off dues or a trip. Um, Mr. Dwayne, you said you want us to have a, a band meet and greet uh, with another band. Uh, this homecoming that's already passed. Um, we said by getting kids to volunteer at the concessions as well as for community service hours. Um, marching band practices stop after football season. Second semester is concert band only. No practices needed before um, a parade. Um, and we said we didn't know about the battle of bands yet. That's the big gist of everything that's still currently going. Oh, and we talked about getting uniforms as well. I'm not uniforms, but um, warm ups as well. Okay, yeah, we have some more information on that in terms of the uniforms. Uh, thanks, Robin. So we'll uh, uh -huh. touch base on several of those things that you talked about. In terms of the three on three basketball tournament, we're going to table that for the time being. Uh, that's something Mr. Ward is going to have to be involved with to make sure we can use the gym and um, exactly what cost is going to be involved in us doing that. So that's something we can still look into, but it'll be something maybe a little bit later in the school year that if we're able to do that. Um, in terms of our upcoming schedule, our remaining games, obviously this week we're on by. We don't have a, a game this week. Uh, the following week uh, we'll be away in McDonough and we'll be away at Lovett. And then our senior night will be with uh, uh, Luella on November 3rd. So that'll be a home game, senior night. Um, we've had some conversations, uh, Ms. Doyle and I, about doing something for the kids. Uh, I know she's already going to do some social media type thing, uh, some things for the seniors, uh, kind of putting some of their information out there, kind of showcasing them on social media. So uh, we'll uh, definitely be doing that. Uh, we've been kicking around like flowers. Uh, we actually are open to any suggestions as to what we can do to really uh, congratulate the seniors that are in the band uh, as they progress on to their next phase, either college or working life or whatever but we definitely want to make sure we do something for them. So we're definitely open to, to any suggestions. Obviously our time is getting kind of short. Uh, so we have to try to put something in place as quickly as possible related to senior night so that we can uh, put something uh, out there for them. So we can start really working on that. Um, the next topic I want to touch on, I was going to have Mr. Mr. Carringer kind of uh, touch on this as well is obviously band dues, but we don't have really any band parents on here. Uh, that we can really enforce that too. Obviously, this is something the school is going to be uh, championing, championing because they're going to be the ones that's going to have to really help uh, push this along with the band parents. Uh, obviously, it's something they're going to have to pay before the school uh, student graduates. So they're, they're going to really have to be uh, kind of the, 
the uh, police, <laughs> the uh, uh, band dues police related to that. So obviously there's going to be some things that's going to require the band dues to be paid if they want to have involvement in trips, uh, the jogging suits that we're talking about, things of that nature. Uh, so that's something that we're definitely going to have to really, really push to the parents to help them appreciate it. That has to be paid. That's a part of their child being in band. Uh, the next thing that I was going to touch base on is the jogging suits. I have been in contact with uh, Mr. Jane Flies. He actually did the jogging suits for several schools, uh, one of which is Monday's Meal. Uh, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you um, Monday's Meal. And then I'm going to show you what we're proposing for ours. So give me one second here. All right. This is... If I can get everything out of the way. Okay. This is Monday's Meals. Um, this is the back of their particular jogging suit. Um, ours would be similar. We would have something different, obviously, on the back than that. But that kind of shows the back of their jogging suit. Um, Ours would be more similar to this, although even in this case, there may be, instead of it being the H here, it may be the hornet, a picture of the, like the, the animal, whatever you want to call it, fly like a, the hornet. So it may be there. We're still open on that. Um, but that would kind of be how the back of it would look to some extent. Uh, there also will be a jogging suit available for the parents. It would be a different base color. Our base color would be black. The base color for the parents would probably be gray, but it would have parent down here at the bottom. Um, so it would be a purple globe or, or brigade, brigade parent. You know, so that would, would be how um, the back of it would look. Um, this would potentially be on the front. Or possibly this. So there's some ideas as to what the um, what will be on the front of it. Now, let me show you a picture of the front of theirs. Now, this is the front of um, Monday's Meal. They have uh, uh, their little tiger here. So ours would be something similar to that, but it would be, you know, our, our um, hornet or a logo or some type of there. Now, this is, forgive my son, look like he paid the mortgage this month or something, so I don't know why he's so mad, but... <laughs> <laughs> this is the jogging suit here um, that we have a sample of. And there should have been a picture of the back of it. Ready to go. Disappeared. But anyway, uh, there's this is kind of the jogging suit. It'll be a black base color. Uh, will be purple in terms of uh, the writing, purple and gold. And it will have the, the logo on the, the front of it, whatever we use here. So uh, we can also have the children's names put on the right chest. The logo would be on the on the right left chest. Uh, we can also have Hampton go down the legs if we so choose to. Uh, we can leave the we can leave it as is if we if we elect to. Um, I have. Let me shot stop my share for a second. The pants. I'm not sure how much you guys can see of this. It's kind of a, a drawstring type bottom pants. So the kids can actually draw the pants in if they elect to. It has the matching zipper here and down the leg, we can actually have Hampton go down the leg if we elect to. But this is kind of a sample of the actual jogging suit that we're looking at. Uh, obviously the band would cover the band between uh, Mr. Carringer's funds and our funds here in the band booster will cover the actual jogging suits themselves. Um, obviously that comes from the dues that are paying paid by the parents as well. Uh, so that's why it's so important that the dues are paid. We all obviously would have to get the jogging suits for all the kids because we can't have the kids out there, some with their jogging suits, some not with jogging suits. So we would have to dip into the funds to take care of that. But uh, again, the band dues is really, really important as it relates to those type of things, as well as any trips that we're proposing to go on. So any thoughts on the, uh, I'd like to have you hear you guys' feedback on the on the jogging suits. What do you guys think? I like them. I think they look really good. Thank you. 
uh, like I said, those are just um, some mock-ups that we did. Uh, there obviously we can make some changes or alterations if people have more ideas, but I really would like to get them in place for the Battle of the Bands that we're planning on trying to have November 11th. That takes us into the next uh, thing that I was going to talk about. Um, I've been kind of trying to put a lot of things in place uh, with the Battle of the Bands. So, uh, obviously, uh, once one of the main fundraisers, we'll kind of touch on with Ms. Uh, Ms. Doyle on one that she's working on as well. But uh, one of the bigger ones that we want to try to do is a battle of the bands for the high school students. Um, as I mentioned, I think a couple of weeks ago, I have a good friend that's the uh, band director at Monday's Mill. So he's been helping me. He's been helping me with communication. As of right now, we have seven bands that has uh, committed to joining the battle of the bands. And we have three more that we're waiting for final word back. So we could potentially have 10 bands involved in the battle of the bands. In addition to that, we actually have uh, two HBCUs, historically backed colleges, that has uh, said to us that they would love to be involved with this. Probably not this year because of the timing, but definitely next year. They uh, really like the vision of trying to get the kids exposed to college and what uh, uh, the music can do uh, in terms of broadening their horizons to go into college. Uh, so I think once we expose them to you know college bands and uh, having them interact with them, I think that can be a really big motivation toward higher education related to uh, doors that that can open, not just from music standpoint, but also future careers uh, as it gets to towards college. So I really think this could be something that starts out as a fundraiser, but it actually can turn out to be very, very pivotal when it comes to the kids' futures uh, uh, avenues that music can actually take them in terms of the band. So I actually sent an email out to Ward, Mr. Ward, as well as Mr. Gwynn earlier today. Uh, they're supposed to be really working toward making sure we get the final approval for the stadium. Uh, I've actually had some conversations with both two of the radio stations here in the local area, V103, as well as Magic 1075. They're actually very interested in helping from a sponsorship standpoint of helping us with this event. Um, so uh, I've been in con conversation with them. They just want to make sure that it's finalized in terms of actually using the stadium, um, they would actually have a remote, potentially a remote uh, broadcast, potentially from uh, the stadium that would help us from that standpoint. So they were really excited about doing things in the community like that. Um, I've actually had some conversations as well as the other band directors have conversations with some of the other directors. Uh, so they're just waiting for correspondence as to an agenda, which I've been working on a good portion of today. Uh, making sure that we have everything allotted in terms of who goes up first, second, third, where the bands will uh, sit, uh, the staging areas to where they will practice and wait for their turn to come up, uh, where the buses will be parking. A lot of things that they got to go in place to really organize the event. So uh, we've actually uh, gotten a lot of that put together. But again, I have not put out any media or any uh, uh, print advertising for the event just yet because we do have to make sure we get that final approval from Mr. Ward, as well as the, the school board. Uh, Mr. Ward did tell me that it's something that he was uh, committed to trying to do to help with this because he likes, again, the vision of where we're going. So that's kind of where we are on that. I did have to turn in a form to request the use of the stadium, which we've done already. And there is a, a, a fee that was involved with the custodialship of uh, cleaning up the stadium afterwards. So I had to write a check for that to make sure that was in place. And that had to happen before we could turn in the form. So that's actually been done as well. So now we're just waiting for final approval for the actual uh, use of the stadium. Again, that we're proposing that we have this event on November 11th. Uh, it would take place on a Saturday earlier in the day. Um, there is a potential, as, as unlikely as it may be, that the, the, the band, I'm sorry, the football team may make the playoffs. I don't, I don't know if they will or will not, but there is a potential that Mr. Gwynn said that it may be on the same day. Uh, so I did tell them that this event would be earlier in the day, potentially starting at one o'clock, two o'clock, and we probably will be done no later than four or five so that it would not directly impact uh, the football game should it uh, need to move forward. So we're going to try to do it much earlier in the day so there is no impact. Obviously, the bands will have to arrive earlier or maybe around 11, 1130. And uh, so obviously there's going to be a lot of uh, help needed uh, from concessions to parking um, to uh, 
people being able to, to enter. So uh, we have um, we have a lot going that we have to kind of put in place for that to happen. I think I just seen something come up in the chat. Let me see what that said. I actually have an event for Veterans Day in my community at 10 a.m. Okay. Um, so I'm not sure how long, uh, Ms. Robinson, that's going to take you into the day. So uh, there may be a conflict on you from your standpoint. Um, not sure if uh, about two hours. Okay. So yeah, um, the event itself probably won't start. I'm aiming at around one o'clock. Uh, obviously, we will already be at the stadium getting things prepared, getting bands ready to go, all of those type of things. Uh, but again, uh, if it's something you can join us a little bit later, that would be great too. Um, we're definitely going to be using our children in this event. Uh, we won't actually be performing. Our band, that is, won't uh, actually be performing. So we will use the kids from concessions to uh, help people paying for parking because we will have a, it will be a paid for parking event as well as enter, entry into the actual uh, venue, the stadium itself. So we'll be using our kids for that as well as there will be one child that's going to be assigned to each band. So they will be their representative on our uh, when they come to the stadium. They will know where the, where to sit them. They will know what order they're supposed to come up for, to perform. So they'll have a time a timing where they'll bring those bands out and to the staging area. So they'll flow in and out. So uh, we just want to make sure that the, the event is real well structured. It's not a it's not something that's jumbled. Uh, so I'm putting a lot of time and attention to that, and there will be quite a few things that we'll still have yet to do. Uh, one of the things is going to be the trophy ceremony. We're going to have to get trophies. I'll actually get with uh, some of the board members uh, so we can kind of get those things together. Um, and it's something we want to do annually, not just this year. So it's something that we want to really try to put our put our arms around and kind of have it, have it as a staple for Hampton High School moving forward. So uh, that's something we've been working on uh, a good portion of the last couple of weeks. As we get more developments with that, I'll definitely pass that on to everybody. Uh, but it looks like we have pretty much uh, gotten a, a good uh, foothold on moving forward with it. The only thing that could potentially end up being a problem is if we cannot get the stadium. And then we have to go to our alternative means. It might be at another school or other things, but I'm hoping we'll be able to do it right here at Hampton. All right, I think that is all that I had. I wanted to turn it over to Ms. Doyle for a second so she can kind of update us on the um, fundraiser that she was uh, working on. I know you had get ran into a couple of roadblocks with them waiting to hear back. Uh, what did you find out, Ms. Doyle? We are playing phone tag, so at least they're calling me back this week. Um, but that is with the scoreboard, the texting fundraiser. But I'm also going to reach out to Amy McAdams about trying to do the spirit night at the ice cream shop in downtown Hampton. I don't know the name of it. Um, and I even mentioned to my kid, maybe her, a couple other kids, bring their instruments, play outside that day to even try to, if we can, if they allow us to do a spirit night to get more people to come out and see them. Um, hopefully we can make that happen fairly quickly. So I'm going to reach out to Amy probably tonight. I know well she has church, so maybe tomorrow and see if she knows him personally. If not, I'll just stop by the little shop and um, see if they're still willing to do it. Plus that gets us in Hampton a little more also. Absolutely. Yeah, we definitely can do that. That should be something that should be something you could put put in place pretty quickly. So that's a, yes, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. So that that should that sounds good. I know we had a couple other things. I think my wife had even mentioned like a breakfast at the school. I'm not sure how we would do that logistics wise, but that is something that had made mention um, that was made mention of the last time, too. So but yeah, I, I like that. That's something that definitely will give some exposure, um, especially if we can get it done prior to the actual uh, battle of the bands, because with, that's going to be huge in terms of really letting people know. Uh, about the event itself. Obviously, we got to put some print out there, print advertising out to the schools themselves for the students to know, the parents to know, as well as trying to do some uh, media advertising that I'm working on with the radio stations. Um, I know we had talked about this, uh, Ms. Doyle and I, as well as personalities in terms of judges. I've talked to a, a couple local people as well that we're trying to get some commitments from. Nothing has been... I have, what? I've got some feelers out, but everybody is waiting for it to be confirmed yeah. that the date yeah. so as soon as it's confirmed then i'm going i'm going getting very creative okay i think we all are okay yeah 
and that's kind of the thing too. Uh, we wanna we wanna definitely uh, confirm everything, and that's why I've had a lot of preliminary conversations, a lot of things kind of put in place, you know. But it's like we can't say flip the switch and really go full force because we have not said yes. You guys have a venue, you guys can go forward. So I did kind of send out an email earlier to Mr. Ward, really, really asking for his help and making sure that happens pretty quickly here because we're basically a month out from the event as of today. So there's a lot of things that has to happen simultaneously to make sure that by the time we get to that point, which we have time, we have time to get everything in place. Another, a month, I've done an event similar to this before. Uh, so there's enough time to get it all in place, but I just want to make sure it's a, it's an event that people enjoy and that they'll, they'll see the benefit when it comes to the kids as well. See a question come in, says, do you have any suggestions to what, what's on the menu for the concessions? Anything different that we can serve, basically. Um, we're open to things on the, we, we've been experimenting, experimenting with the menu at concessions. So I think this past home games, we did chicken wings, a variation of chicken wings. Some things happened with the chicken wings that shouldn't have, but we've been trying to do some things with that. Uh, kind of one of the problems with trying to have some variations is just getting people to really help us with different things that we, we're, we're trying. Um, that's one of the bigger things. We are, we've been getting some involvement from parents, but it would be really nice to, to, to try to get even more. Uh, but yeah, we're open to doing some different things with concessions. Um, the goal is to try to be able to get enough uh, money for it so they can help offset a lot of things that we're trying to do for the kids. So yeah, uh, we are definitely open to any suggestions. So let us know, let any of the board members know. Uh, my wife has been kind of heading up the the concessions uh, coordinator type thing because the our co coordinator from last year didn't join us this year. So she's been kind of taking the bull by the horns with that. And I appreciate her doing that. But just communicate with us in terms of um, uh, what you suggest and then how we can make that happen. So uh, then we'll uh, we'll try to get pricing put together with it. But yeah, we're open to, to uh, adding some things or taking some things away from concessions. Uh, we only have one more home game left. So we only have one left. Uh, that's outside of the Battle of the Bands. So uh, obviously the Battle of the Bands is going to be the bigger event that we've had all season. So that might be one that we can do some things with. But again, we're going to need a lot of help because now we're talking we're the only concession stand open and we might be talking about a lot higher volume of people uh, coming to concessions. So we don't want to have our hands in so many different things, trying to prepare so many things that it doesn't really go well. But uh, that's definitely something we can we can talk about and we can try to put in place. But that's just that's definitely something we can we can move forward with. All right. Do we have any other questions? I have a question. Right here. Are we? But I guess for Mr. K mainly, are we having an eighth grade night the same night as senior night, or are we not doing an eighth grade night this year? The current plan is to also have eighth grade bad night at senior night which kind of snuck up because I didn't realize that be that was the last home game mm -hmm. so it's going to be a chaotic night can we get somewhat of a head count so if we yeah. have to think about kids okay that would be great uh, Mr. Cho said currently there's about 38th graders that are interested Okay. But that might change within the next two weeks. Okay. So I'll I'll make sure to get a official head count as soon as we can. Okay. I wasn't even aware of that. So that's good information. I wasn't not aware of doing the eighth grade night. Okay, so I'll put that on my list. I got a question. With eighth grade night, what's um, involved? Um, I know there would they be participating in the band and or what else would they be doing? Uh, eighth grade night, generally eighth graders come and they play in the stands actually with the high schoolers and they pretty much just get to see what it's like to be a marching band member for a day. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. I've seen several schools do that. Actually, I went to one a couple of weeks ago where they had some eighth graders playing even on the field, field shows and everything with the band. 
So I really think that's good exposure too. And I think they will enjoy that. It does give them that exposure. Definitely. So I think that that's a good idea. Mr. Kendra, while I have you there, you were talking to us and I have it in my notes here about a rockathon. Um, is that something that we are, are planning on moving forward with? And do you have any information that you can pass, pass on to us as to how we can how we make that happen? I would like to move on with it. Um, to move on with it, we would just need a space available that would be willing to host the band for an overnight uh, fundraising event. And I, did I talk about it last? Did I talk about it last meeting? I know I talked about it with you. I think with me, I don't know that we talked about it in a group setting yet. Um, a rockathon is from eight o'clock, eight o'clock at night to eight o'clock in the morning. And it's 12 hours rocking in a rocking chair. And it, it sounds absurd, but um, it's for every hour you rock and you get a, it's, it's 50 minutes and then a 10 minute break every hour. But for every hour you rock, you you take pledges and then every hour you rock you get that pledge so if someone pledges five dollars if you rock the entire 12 you get 60 and that goes straight towards fundraising straight towards band dues but if you get what is it five pledges yeah five pledges of five dollars and you rock 12 and that's 300 so it adds up really quick and the, the only rule is you have to be rocking in your chair for the 50 minutes to get credit for that entire hour. Now, I guess we have you put any fillers out to the students to see who's interested in doing that or have it, has it even been brought up to them? I mentioned it to a few of them, but I was waiting to see if we were actually going to go farther with it. Well, yeah, definitely find out. Um, so really what we need, we're needing is a venue to do that. Is that something that we can do at the school or probably not because it's an overnight type of thing? It has to be something separate from, from the school? Probably not, but I can talk with Mr. Ward about that. Okay. All right, so let's start looking into that to see um, from a venue standpoint where we can do that. Just let me know about what Ward says as, as to whether or not that's something that can happen overnight. Not sure if they have what well, excuse me, what about Miss Um Amy's church? Because they have when well, we had the um they had like a gym and stuff in there. I remember we had the um banquet in there last year. Could that, that be something maybe ask to use? That was brought up and I if we can get permission to use it, I think it would be a, a perfect location. It just okay. well, if y'all have the banquet there, it'd be big enough anyway. Yeah. Right. If we if we can get permission, it'd be it'd be nice. Okay. All right. So we can probably reach out to Amy about that. Uh, she's actually going to get a copy of this video for the for the actual band meeting anyway, so she'll hear it in the video. But we can definitely uh, touch base with her and see if that's a possibility. So at least we'll have a a good option, another secondary option for having that. So, but yeah, definitely we can put fillers out there to the children, the kids to see whether or not they will be interested in doing it. And then at the same time, we can be looking for a venue to do it. So that's, again, something that we may be able to do decently quickly. It may not take very long to, to try to put that in place and get it going. And, then, you know, I could see kids potentially having fun doing that. No kid likes to go to bed at night. I know mine doesn't. <laughs> so, um that's kind of uh, what I have. Uh, do we have anything else? Any other questions? Anything else that we need to bring up? Anything I forgot? This question is just more for Mr. Um, Mr. K. Do you have any upcoming events, concerts for your um, in-school band or anything else that we don't know about or for the concert band or anything? Uh, there's the upcoming winter extravaganza. It's coordinated between all of the fine arts teachers, and we are we are trying to finalize a date, but it would be sometime in December. And that's that's the only thing for for uh, this semester. Okay, it's not it's the band. I know Miss Doyle uh, and Miss Robin. You guys are stating the parade. Is Hampton still in that parade or? Yes, Hampton is in the Christmas parade every year. Is what we were told last year. Okay. 
Is that something you're aware of, Mr. Carringer, that parade? Uh, I haven't heard much about it other than that it's just a big parade around winter time. Okay. All right, well, we got a couple months, so we just have to finalize uh, that them being in that and whether or not that's going to actually happen. Uh, to my knowledge, I think it happens every year, so we'll just um, try to see if we can finalize that. Um, it was something else that crossed my mind when Mr. Kieringer was talking, and I can't remember what it was. It'll probably hit me later. Um, that's it. That's all I have. Um, Kamini, you got anything else? You seem, seem to help me remember some of the things that we talked about. And I forget to. No, I can't remember. Uh, I don't think, think we touched base on everything. I know we said um, we were going to get some type of um, survey. You know how they had a survey at work when they asked us what our favorite things are? Mm -hmm. Um, at the beginning of the year at work, we were talking about doing that for the seniors in color guard, dance, and band. That way, we'll know to get their favorite items to put in the basket. Um, for um senior night, and um, I cannot think of Donnie's mom's real name because I always call everybody by their kid's name. But Donnie's mom has the um, she's been playing around with keychains, um for the kids to see about trying to do um, a band, personal for the band, some type of dance or something with pom-poms for the girls that are dancing in color garden in the dance. So to put that in their um, basket. Because we were talking about like maybe going to like how Dollar Tree has like those plastic uh, like baskets that are um, white, black, and um, either yellow or purple, whatever, and using those to stuff the kids' favorite items. And it's like that way um, for the boys, they won't have something that's too uh, feminine or whatever, it'll be, you know, their favorite items that what they want to have. Because I think if I tally it up right, I think it's maybe 10 kids total that are um, graduating, including color guard, band, and dance. But I was going to check and make sure um, and just make sure at the next game that I had um, or either hand band practice or something, had that sheet for them, the kids to fill out about their favorite items. So that way we can get started on that. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a good idea. We definitely can get that information from them. That'll make them feel special, so that's good. So, yeah, we definitely can do that. So whatever we need to do, any help that we need to get that done, just let me know. I'll do whatever I can to help uh, push that along. But, yeah, we definitely need to get things in place with Senior Night because that is coming very quickly, very quickly. Okay. And I, the other thing that I thought about related to that, it hit me a second ago. I was thinking about, because we were trying to do a meet and greet before uh, do, going bowling. And this was the end of last year, I think it was, where we end up having it right there at the school. So I thought about maybe trying to do that again, maybe um, kind of like the theme centered around the seniors uh, uh, being there, as well as uh, the rest of the band, of course, and uh, maybe do a bowling outing and, uh, you know, the band could cover that. So uh, that's something I actually thought about is something, uh, to, uh, an appreciation for them, the seniors as well. So that's something we can talk about and maybe that's something we can do as well, like a, a bowling event or an event outside of school uh, for the kids to have fun together. So uh, that's one of the things that had also pressed across my mind. So we can put that in the back of our mind. Maybe we can look at doing that as well. And, uh, you know, we just want to make sure we're doing some things to really show the appreciation for the seniors that are graduating. So, uh, so that's one of the things that actually crossed my mind as well. All right. So uh, again, that's all I have. If we don't have anything else, I appreciate you guys joining us and that will end our meeting for tonight. Thanks again, everybody. Have a good night. You too. Right. Bye.